Hello everyone. In today's lecture, we will be talking about generating different molecular descriptors using RDKit. So the first step is installing RDKit using pip install RDKit PyPy. After it has been successfully installed, let's just import important libraries like pandas and other modules from RDKit which would aid us in generating molecular descriptors. Next, I'm gonna be importing an Excel file which contains smile strings of some molecules. Let's run this and see the output. Now, as you can see here, this data set contains just the smile strings of the molecule. Now, the next step is generating molecular objects from the smile strings. In the previous videos, I have shown you that you can use this command here, pandas to store add molecule column to frame which would grab the smiles from the data frame and convert it into molecular objects uh, we are not going to be using that but let's just run this and see the output here now you can see here it has created a mole column which contains the molecular graphs or molecular structures but you can see here the hydrogens are missing uh, however, it is always desirable to have hydrogens on the molecular graphs or else it will change the output values of the descriptors. So I'm just uh, gonna comment this one out and I'm gonna be rerunning the code from here and I'm gonna show you a different way to generate these molecular graphs along with the hydrogens. So let's just uh, go to this code over here. So for generating molecular structures with hydrogens, I'm gonna be making an empty list here. Now I'm gonna run a for loop which will iterate through each smile strings. Uh, in this part of the code, this chem dot mole from smiles function will convert these smiles to molecules, but without hydrogens. And in the next step, this chem dot add hs command will take these molecules as input which does not has any hydrogen and convert it into molecules with hydrogen. So uh, I'm gonna append this molecule to the empty list and in the end we will have molecular structures with hydrogens on it. So let's just run this column and yes in the end we are gonna be concatenating it to the original data set so that we have these molecular graphs in the form of a column which would be named as mole. Let's uh, see the first five molecules. Now you can see here uh, we have a molecular object column here. Now, now to visualize these molecules, I am gonna be using draw dot moles to grid image function of RD grid, and I am gonna be printing first eight molecules. And let's run this and see the output. So these are the first eight molecules, and as you can see, uh, we have hydrogens on them. Uh, now the stage is all set for creating molecular descriptors. Now before we start coding, let me take you to the official documentation of RDKit. So in today's session, I will be using RDKit's molecular descriptor module for cal calculating various descriptors. We are gonna be using this class over here and create an instance of it. Now. This class takes simple list as an argument and simple list is a list of simple descriptors to be calculated. So we need to tell in the form of arguments that what descriptors we are interested in. Uh, the descriptors should be in the form of a strings, which are the functions in the RD kit. And uh, we are gonna be creating an instance of it. So let me just uh, take you back to the code and show you what I am talking about. Now this is a class for generating molecular descriptors that I just showed you. And I also told you it, it takes a list of strings as an argument, which are the functions of RDKit. Now I'm using this list comprehension here for creating the list of different descriptor functions. And I'm creating an instance of this class here. So let's run this and see uh, how this object or an instance of this class looks like. So this is an object here. Again, this is not really useful to us as such. We need to call a function on it. Now, uh, if you go back here again, 
there are different functions or methods here which you can use for example calc descriptors will take the molecular graph that we just generated as an argument and calculate all the descriptors for a given molecule similarly get descriptor names method would return a tuple of the names of the descriptors and get descriptor summaries will return a tuple of the summaries so we will get more information about the uh, descriptors that are present in the rt kit so coming back to the code now before we start generating the descriptors we should we need to know that how many descriptors are there and what type of descriptors are there so let me just uh, call the cat descriptors name uh, uh, function which would print out the names of all the descriptors that we can generate with rdkit i'm going to be storing that in a variable called names so let's run this and print out the names here so uh, as you can see it see here there are there are plenty of descriptors that you can uh, you know calculate with rd kit for example uh, molecular weight heavy atoms uh, exact molecular weight number of valence electrons now let's just see how many of these descriptors are here that you can calculate with rd kit so i'm gonna run a len command on this tuple here which would print out the number of descriptors so a total of 208 molecular descriptors can be calculated using rd kit now some of the descriptors uh, are self-explanatory for example mole weight here will give you the molecular weight of the compound exact mole weight would provide the exact molecular weight but some of the descriptors might be hard to understand uh, now we can get more information about these using another function so let's just go ahead and randomly pick uh, some descriptor so let's just see what more log p stands for now again i am gonna print this descriptor in the argument section of this class and i'm gonna call this using get descriptor summaries let's uh, run this so this is more log p is wildman script and log p value uh, now you can go ahead and uh, try on your own grab some descriptors from here and see if you can get more information about those descriptors using dot get descriptor summaries function so let's uh, go ahead now and start generating molecular descriptors uh, now let's just say we want to generate just uh, one descriptor you know and just for a single molecule uh, what I'm gonna do here is that I'm again gonna create an instance of this class here and I am just gonna copy whatever descriptor I am interested in so let's just uh, use this small log p here and copy it because this takes argument as a list so right now we are interested in just one descriptor so that is it and let's just run this and create an object now we have an object here and uh, now we are going to be using calc descriptor function for calculating descriptor of this molecule uh, this would take the molecule as a as an argument now i have ram randomly picked 12 mo 12th molecule here i have also uh, drawn the structure of it using draw dot mold to image command of rd kit so let's run this and see the output so this is the molecule uh, that uh, i used for calculating descriptor and the more log p value of this molecule is 1.7771 let's go ahead and you know see uh, if we can generate some other descriptor let's say uh, we are interested in calculating number of heteroatoms uh, now we can already tell there are around uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 heteroatom let's see if uh, it matches with our understanding so i am just gonna replace this more log p with num heteroatoms i'm again gonna run this command and you know see we have uh, we have six as a uh, you know number of heteroatoms so uh, let's just move ahead and let's say we are interested in calculating one or more descriptors for the whole data set now what i'm gonna do here is that uh, i'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna keep it as such and uh, let's calculate just this descriptor for the whole data set and for this I'm running a for loop here I'm creating an empty list first followed by running a for loop and calling calc descriptor function on this object here 
so let's just go ahead run this and in the next step we are converting this list into a data frame followed by pending it to our original data frame so that we have the complete data set with the smile strings now don't forget to put the name of the descriptors uh, in the column section so i'm just gonna grab the uh, name here and i'm gonna put in the column section so that we have the name of the column as well so now you can see here in the final data set we have smiles molecular objects and number of hydro atoms uh, now just in case you are wondering how we can generate two descriptors so let's just grab one more descriptor i am going to be using a number of hydrogen donor as a descriptor and i'm going to add it to the list here run it again and i'm going to run this for loop here without any alteration uh, now when you run this final df uh, command here make sure you add the second descriptor as well which is number of hydrogen donors in the column section so that we have the columns of each descriptors so let's run this and see the output so now you can see here that we have two columns one number of hydro atoms and one number of hydrogen donors now uh, in the end i will show you how you can calculate all the 208 descriptors and for the whole data set so uh, here i'm uh, creating uh, another instance of this class here now i'm gonna be using the same list comprehension here which i used while uh, cal while grabbing the names of these descriptors so uh, let's run this let's run the uh, for loop here which is same which we used previously and in the end uh, the final underscore df uh, we can calculate with the same command here which i used here except that in the column section just paste the same list comprehension command so that we have the list of all the columns so let's run this and see the output so you can see here now we have all the 208 descriptors down below you can see we have 210 columns one is smiles one is small and rest 208 are are molecular descriptors so in the end you can just go ahead and save this data set but before that don't forget to uh, get rid of this uh, column because we are not really going to be needing that uh, just run this command and you will see your final data set over here the code has been provided in the link in the description please let me know if you have any questions uh, stay tuned for more videos Thank you for watching.